this is the Arduino Uno board and this has the microcontroller here. There are so many types of Arduino Unos but mostly this type of board is used for enthusiastic people and the developers. Now I hope this is having the covering to protect it from dust and other things. I will open it and show you. So here you can see this is the main IC which is having the heart of this board and the main controller. Then you have the power supply, barrel connector and one is here you can see this is USB connector which will connect through this cable USB to laptop and this will go here and we can connect this Arduino Uno board to laptop here it is important to understand that this has number of pins here you can see from 0 to 13 and this here one is ground pin and above ground pin you have a, a reference pin then uh, you have all these pins here this side and here also you have a lot of gpio pins for general purpose output input you have onboard a crystal which gives you clock frequencies and you have a reset button here which uh, sometimes you require just to push it and reset the board then uh, <coughs> you have here different pins here it is written digital pins 0 and 1 this two pin here it is written tx and rx that is transmission and receiving pins then from 1 to 7 you have digital pwm pins that is pulse width modulation you can use them for digital input and output you can program any of the pin for giving you output or receiving input from your developer circuit then you have different pins this pin number 13 is of importance saying that this 13 is the natural output pin and one led is connected on the board which gives you indication connected to pin 13 and it has inbuilt resistance with the LED so you need not to connect extra register and this is the ground pin which can be used to supply ground voltage here again you have this ground pins then 5 volt pin 3.3 volt pin and other pins so this is the analog IO pins here from A0 to A5 and this is how this board functions here you can see TX and RX written here and two LEDs which will indicate transmission and receiving while serial IO function is taking place this will blink and uh, this is the voltage regulator IC on the board which will certainly helps in regulating the voltage so when you are connecting any outside voltage to pin ground and uh, say 5 volt or 3 volt you must uh, see that voltage is regulated properly so this is the Arduino Uno board you can see and uh, now I will be developing and giving you different type of tutorial on this board 
and which may start with the simple uh, blinking of LED and we will use this breadboard to have connections and develop the circuits on this board. So we will start from blinking of LED, how this is connected, how this is powered and the programmed and then further we will develop our tutorial onward to give you further in-depth knowledge for controlling this particular Arduino Uno board. To use the Arduino board, we have to download the Arduino IDE software. Go to Arduino.cc in the browser and then go to software and go to download. And then in the download, you will find the Arduino IDE version 1.8.12. And that is the thing you have to download for Windows version. Download it. I have already downloaded it and uh, you have to download, install it, and a uh, symbol icon will be placed on your screen. Open it and uh, once it is open, then you have to by default a blink uh, program will be open, but before that, we have to see example. Basics and blink we will open. This is the sketch. Normally, this sketch is known in the world of Arduino. It is a simple program, another name for program is sketch. And in this sketch, you will find that the name of the program has a blink written on the top, then details of the who has written what date and all those things. They are the standard programs written by Arduino.cc and uh, in the program you can see there is a wide setup where pin mode is written that LED built in and that will be our output and uh, <coughs> then white program to write the loop <coughs> in the loop uh, you see that digital light is written on the LED built in this here you can see this blinking is going on what i have done here is you can see this black wire this black wire i have connected from ground that is uh, pin number ground but about 13 about 13 there is a ground written here that the ground i have connected to here on the negative side of the LED and positive side I have connected to pin number 13 and this LED I have connected depending on its polarity that is plus and minus so you can see the LED is blinking here and this blinking gives us the detail that uh, pin number 13 goes high then waits for 1000 milliseconds then it goes low the LED is written low and wait for 1000 milliseconds so here we can see and uh, here we can just I will tell you this if you see this LED blinking is coincides with the LED blinking on the board which is connected with the pin number 13 so these two are blinking in the same synchronous method when it is on it is also on when it is off that is also off so this is inbuilt on the board so if i change here something and little bit we will see how this behaves on the board what changes it happens i will make this 1000 as 500 and here also if i say it is 500 so how this will be i will just upload it and we will see how this happens can you see the change in the blinking speed of the 
LD. Now it is fast because the waiting time here we are giving is 500 milliseconds. I will make it uh, on time as 200 milliseconds and here let us uh, check it as 1000 milliseconds. So how this behaves? I have uploaded. Now you see the on time is 200 millisecond off time is 1000 I will change this 1000 to say 2000 and I will upload it again see the off time has increased on time is this much 200 millisecond only here we have written 200 so it is showing 200 on and 2000 as off time and if I make it as 5000 let us see I will upload it and see here the waiting time has again increased to 5000 and on time is only 200 milliseconds so this is how it goes if you make it both uh, say 100 and uh, 100 okay so it will be it should do very fast upload it and see this wonderful it is following our program right so this is how it does and the same thing it is happening here also now we can uh, change the pin number and we can program it and uh, that's also can be done so i will show that when pin number change with another program and uh, i will select next uh, example in the basic and i will go to fed we will select the fed program and here you see it is written the same details fit name of program example details okay so here the we will init the some variables that is led pin number 9 brightness 0 fed out amount is 5 the comments are written here you can see then wide setup what is white we have written pin mode led output that's all now let us go below that and uh, this is written then wide loop wide loop is analog right led what is led led is here and this led is pin number nine so pin number nine led will be written as brightness we have select we have defined this brightness as zero now we will change once this is written the first it will be written as 0 on the pin number 9 then brightness we will change with the brightness plus fed amount fed amount is 5 you can see 5 integer so it will add here and we will check it if brightness is between 0 and 255 so what it will do fed amount minus the fed amount it will go on doing this so after doing this we will wait for 30 milliseconds as delay so that we can see the dimming effect on the LED. So this is simple program and uh, I will just upload it. Now you see the I have to change this positive side to pin number 9 and you can see the fad effect on the LED now this LED here is not considering this because pin number 13 we are not using we are using only pin number 9 as our digital output and this LED is fading out and 
each time it is waiting for 30 millisecond after writing the brightness so that we can see the brightness dimming little bit and then coming up again from 0 to 255 here you see what we have planned here it is written 0 to 255 so this LED will go on doing this from 0 to 255 things so friends uh, this uh, a small demo if any questions you can just mention I will reply that and uh, next time I will come up with some other programs and we will use some transducers here how the transducers functions how they are connected how they are measured and we will do that in the coming programs